Hi you guys, I got my birch box here and I also finally used up just about all my birch box points. So I got some shopping from the birch box shop and I think I'm pretty happy with it. I opened it up last night. It was like around midnight or so when I finally opened up the box to see what it was and kind of fumble through everything. So I'm gonna go through the birch box first and this one just says oh it says we love and then my name annette so let's see what's up with birch box i think in uh i think in january is when my annual subscription is up and i'm pretty sure i'm just not going to do it anymore so um since it's more difficult to earn points and in order to earn points you have to purchase something and you get points that way now instead of reviewing items and whatever anyway so this is very light super light birch box but the box is pretty cool it just has like hashtag birch box fresh um community fun beauty blah 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 whatever whatever and then it's a cute funfetti kind of lid so there's the card and here are the items that are kind of like it looks almost like nothing is in there um, last month with Birchbox, I, one of my products was completely smashed and whatever, so I messaged them and they had said they didn't have any more items for replacement, so they gave me like $5 worth of points in the Birchbox shop and actually I think out of everything, I have like those $5 left in my Birchbox shop because I, I don't know, I should have looked better and spent it, whatever. All right. So I'm pretty sure you were able to choose like some kind of mascaras, like a box of mascaras, different types or something like that, or a certain type of mascara for the box, something like that. Anyway, I chose this box because I kind of liked almost everything that was in this particular box. So I chose this one. Um, this is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I've had this one before once or twice in the past and I really, really love it. So that's one of the reasons why I chose this box is because of this. It's really fantastic. Next is the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. This I've gotten maybe four or five times and a couple times it was like a choice that you could choose or something like that and, and I did choose it. I really, really like it. I have it in the shower right now. It's just about empty. I think I have one, maybe two more uses out of it. And these um, deluxe samples from Vasanti are really great they actually give you a lot of stuff in here it says it's an exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya micro crystals and aloe i would say it kind of feels like it's super fine sand on the inside it's an amazing exfoliator if you're looking for a really good one i think this one is really great um, next is from dr jart it says premium bb beauty balm multi-action skincare makeup with spf 45 um, I think I've had this and it was just too light for me, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it was. So, um, I don't remember ever using it. Usually a BB cream is not enough for this face. I need a lot more stuff. Um, I also did Ulta. I went to Ulta today. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that up too. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm not sure what's up with this one. Let's see. And next is from Milk Makeup. This is a mascara. And I think that it's so genius to put mascara in a squeezy tube like this because you know oftentimes you're with your mascara and you're going like this, trying, it's getting blurry, stop that. <laughs> so you know oftentimes um, when you're like, you're having your favorite mascara, you love it and you're trying to get like the insides and you're going like this, this is good because all you have to do is squeeze the tube and kind of like rub the brush around and then the, the mascara gets right back on your mascara wand. It's awesome. So I have not used this particular one before. Huh. It is a cool brush. I have another mascara that is very similar to this and I really like it. It's just a waterproof and I am not, I really don't like waterproof too much, but it's a great mascara. Um, I think it's like MGM, not MGM, but isn't that like Disney? No, not MGM, MCM, <laughs> I don't know, something like that. I got it in a beauty box, like a glossy box or a boxy charm because it's a full size one, but it's really good. So I am excited to try this one out. I've heard amazing things about milk makeup in general. So 
Um, last is a lip screen. It says Shine On Lip Screen with SPF 50. Nice, from Supergoop. Supergoop always gives the crappiest samples, but I'm looking through this one through the sunlight and it's actually full. Usually Supergoop, like they'll have like uh, this sized products and then they'll only have like a little corner of product inside the container. They, I mean, one use and you at that, you have to squeeze a tube so tight like you're at the end of a toothpaste container to get that little tiny bit out. So this is full, surprised. Let's see, oh, I like the little squeezy tube thingy here. Oh my gosh, a little tiny bit of this stuff goes a long way. I like this one, nice, nice shine, you see? So I'm actually quite happy with this month's birch box. Very happy with this month's birch box because the past couple of months have been really blase. I'm telling you, really, really blase. This month, excellent birch box. This is exactly what I expected from them. Um, and hopefully until, I don't know, that they just stop giving little chintzy samples and stuff like that and they go back to the way they were. So very, very happy. Now let's check out the rest of the birch box haul that I got with all of my points. I had over $100 worth of points. Um, it was like $112 maybe or something like that. And then um, I think there was some kind of code maybe. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. So you can see I've already opened it up because this was in a bag and I kind of took everything out. So let me go through everything here. The first thing I got is um, this is IPKN New, New York. It's called Twinkle Lips. Um, I just thought it was really cute. I saw the packaging online and I thought, oh, that's cute, whatever. So this is $25 and there's two colors in here. They have N1 Glow Pink and N2 Glow Coral. These things are super, they're so cute. And the colors that are inside are awesome. They're kind of like, almost like chapsticks. But when I was kind of um, swatching them last night, I was like, hmm, it says twinkle. And I don't know if it was just the lighting that I had last night or I don't know. I thought I saw like little glossy shines. It's kind of like, um, actually purchased it, uh, the Jane Iridell. We got a sample in a birch box a long time ago, a couple times. Um, and it looks like there's no color whatsoever. And when I got it, I thought it was nothing. And I was like, oh, it's like a lip balm, but it's not. It kind of transforms into a shade that your body's pH kind of reacts to and it comes up with a shade and I love it. So that's why I actually purchased a full size. But anyway, coming back to this one. So this is um, the two shades here. Um, the container is really cute. It's got like little sparkly stars down there. And they're not sparkly. They're just like little stars. I say sparkly because the name is Twinkle, but it's not sparkly, but it's cute. It's cute packaging and um, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put the pink one on the bottom and then I'll, and then I'll put the, uh, the peachy one on the top lip. And actually this has like completely different um, writing on the bottom of the lip color. It's, I don't know if what language, I don't know what language it is or anything like that, but I don't know, is this like Korean beauty? Yep, it says made in Korea. Okay, so let's see, this is the peachy one. And then I want to put the pink one on the top. See, it's just like, you see how it transforms? I love these things. And they're not super bold. They're just so, like, I don't know. So these are so comfortable on the lip. I can't wait to use them all the time just to see if it improves, you know, the quality. My lips are always so, so dry. I do use um, matte lip colors, so I know that's probably why. Let's see, it says moisturizing lips, several shades of style. 
Um, apparently the more layers you put on, the darker tone that you would get. So, hmm. so the Twinkle Lips is a win. I love these. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is the Jane Iredell one. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try this one too. Let me get something to wipe this off. Okay, so this is the one that I was talking about that I did get a sample. This one is the Forever Pink. They have Forever Peach and then Forever Red. I've never tried the Forever Red, but I've had the pink and the peach and I like them both. So this is very similar package packaging to the Twinkle Lips Bundle. Um, and it kind of looks very similar on the inside as well. It's almost like a clear, like a lip balm is what it looks like, but it's not, it's a surprise. Okay, so this is the Forever Pink from Jane Iredell. It's, this one is very subtle, but it does build up. Like, um, I notice certain days it's like more bold. This one seems very, very subtle. This is fine. I like light lip, lip hello, speak. I like light <laughs> lip colors. Not light as in pale but light as in like a touch or a hint of color. That's just what I prefer. I don't like a very bold, bold shade. So I'm gonna give you an up close look between the two Twinkles and then this Jane Iredell. I really like these. Okay, so these are, these two are the Twinkles. I forget which one is which now, but this last one right here, this is the Jane Iredell. This is very faint, just a little hint of color. So this is very faint. I really like this one. Um, this one is also $25. Okay, next I got this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I've had this, I've had two of these already in different kits and I'm out of any decent liquid liner. And since I had points to spend, this was the number one thing in my box. I definitely wanted this. So it's just a liquid pen uh, marker kind of a thing and it is fantastic it really really is you can see like this mark here is from last night and it's still there it's kind of faded off a little bit but it's still there this is like a really really black black eyeliner it's awesome I love it it does stay all day long it is easy to use and it lasts actually quite a long time. So I really like this one. And that is $22 for the full size of that. Next, what I got, I really wanted to try it out. Um, I've heard lots of mixed reviews about it, but this is the Cl Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. I got this shade, Belgium? No, <laughs> no, that's not one of the shades. It's made in Belgium, hello. It says that it's for dry combination to combination oily. So that's like from like every single range. Um, the shade I got is number eight, Golden Neutral. I don't know if, it kind of looks like it's gonna be dark. I don't know, right? In the camera, it looks like it has like a little pinky tone to it also. Hmm, let's see. So of course, everybody always says it has like a ginormous wand, which yes, it does. This is like the biggest wand ever. I'm curious, I, I don't know. I wonder if this is gonna be a shade for me. Let me see, it looks kind of dark, right? But they didn't have anything. Let's see, actually, it might be good. No, no, maybe not. Hmm. Might be the perfect shade. So it looks like it might actually work. Um, so I'm very curious. I'm gonna test this thing out. Maybe later tonight. Maybe I'll just take all this off and just try it out because I got a, another foundation <laughs> that I wanted to try, not from here. Anyway, so this is $27, which is not bad. It's $27 and you get how much is in here? Uh, what does it say? What does it say? You get one fluid ounce for $27. That's not bad for a higher end foundation. I think Clinique is higher end, is it? Or am I wrong? I think I'm right. So not too bad. And they always have, 
It, if you haven't seen, uh, I've had the other, it's called uh, Pop, something Pop, mm, the whole line that they came out with. Um, and they have such cute packaging. It's a bunch of all these little lippies and things like that. Um, I will link it down below if you wanted to check it out. I thought it, that was a really fun video for me to make. I liked it. I put a blog up on it. So if you wanted to see up close pictures on the different um, pop line that they have, um, I'll put it all down below. I also got from Make Beauty. This is a super matte lip pencil. This is pretty cool. I was testing this out. I don't know. I had a lip color. I don't know where the lip color is. I think it was for my purse. Anyway, so it, it comes in. It looks just like this. And it looks like it's a, a chubby lip pencil lipstick or whatever you want to call it okay so it just looks like this like a little chubby pencil and when you put it on you're supposed to wipe it when you're done with it so because obviously you're going to get color on this on whatever lip color you use but you're supposed to put this over your lip color and it's supposed to mattify it yes it is to give like any lipstick any glossy lipstick a mattifying effect let's check it out okay i tried this i just have like a a Rimmel lip color that I got in, what was it, the Target Beauty Box? Um, I don't really see a difference. Super matte lip pencil. I don't know. When I used it last night on a lip color that I had, um, I noticed it right away. On my, But I didn't put it on my lips. I put it on my arm my wrist or whatever. I was just swatching it and I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. That's really neat. Blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, right now it's not working. It's n I, I don't, I don't feel a difference and I don't see a difference. Um, I didn't use the other one because it was such a pale color and you couldn't really see anything. So I wanted to try to get something with a little bit of color and, uh, yeah, I still don't notice a difference. I put it on this side with that matte crayon thingy and this side doesn't and uh, they look the same to me. I don't see a difference. So maybe it's just a dud. Maybe it's certain colors or I don't know, but I think that this didn't really, didn't do anything. And I think you would waste a lot because you have to clean it off after every single one. Let's see. I don't know. Can you see anything? I, I don't notice it. Maybe when I edit that I'll be able to see it. I don't have a mirror around here, so that doesn't help. Looking up really, really close, I could see it a little bit. So, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, so this thing was, this thing, yeah, this thing, this item. So this was $23. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm going to still play around with it and see how it is. I'm probably not going to turn it, return it or anything. I mean, it was with points. I didn't pay anything out of pocket, so. Uh, let's see. Next, we have Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. This was like a deluxe sample, if I'm not mistaken. This was $17. I've had little samples from Birchbox, and I really like this one a lot, a lot, a lot. It's similar to um, the professional but it's more frothy or foamy like, not foamy, I don't know. It's like, almost like, maybe it is foamy. It's almost like it's, um, has like air whipped into, it's like whipped, that's what it is. It's like a whipped formula. Um, I'm not gonna open this one because I do have a little sample, but I really do like this. I really like this a lot, which is the reason why I chose to get this. Um, it's definitely a pore filler for sure, for sure. Um, and it says it absorbs oils and helps mattify. I think this is a fantastic primer. So there you go. Okay, and the last thing I got was um, if you spend $35 or more, there was a few things that you can get in there, but um, this is the one I chose. It's a little tiny cargo cosmetics bag. It's just like a round, like a pencil bag kind of a thing. I'm sure it's not a pencil bag. It must be a makeup bag. Why? Because it's makeup stuff, right? Why not? All right, so, and you get the bag and you got this little mini, it's a cargo um, blush and bronzer duo. Uh, I thought it was just okay. I'm not a cargo makeup fan in general. Everything that I've tried from cargo in the past have kind of been mediocre. I have a couple cargo palettes. They're just okay. They're not like 
after I bought them. I think I bought bought it because I don't know. I saw the colors, the name, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. And I rarely use it because the pigmentation is just kind of mediocre. Oh, I did pay something out of pocket. I thought I did not pay anything out of pocket. It was $139 and I used $112 of my points and I used $26 out of pocket. So it was not completely free. I thought it was, but it's not. Anyway, so, um, so this is a little duo. And like I said, it's just okay. It's a pretty color. The bronzer is kind of very poor and the blush is cute. It's nice, but I hate when they come a little tiny thing like this, like for real, how are you going to get your brush into just the blush? You can't. It's impossible. I mean, it's not impossible. It's possible, but I'm just saying. Um, hmm. It's okay. It was a free gift. For me, the bronzer would be better for like eyeshadow or something because it's kind of like very orangey and very shimmery. The shimmer is okay, but the orangey tone to it is not my not my cup of tea at all. I'm trying to wipe off all these um, like the Jane Iredell, the Twinkle Lips, and all that stuff, and my arm is completely stained. So they're lip stains too, apparently. <laughs> So really nice items. I'm very happy with the majority of the items. Almost every single one of them I'm happy with. I'm kind of on the fence between this Make um, Super Matte Lip Pencil. Um, I'll have to play with it a little bit more. I can feel a difference actually. Like on my lips, if I touch this side, like no lip color comes off, but if I touch this side, the lip color is definitely coming off so I can feel a difference I don't know if it took a second for it to kind of um, work or whatever but all right you guys that's it for my Birchbox haul I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you again in another video bye